I picked up this um, 1948 Crane Saxon A toilet bowl from Salvaged the other day. Um, I'll link his channel down in the description. You should go subscribe to it. I mean, I got this toilet from him, and he has a lot more just like it. So if you like these old toilet bowls, then I recommend going and subscribing to him. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, this toilet bowl... You see that hole right there? That goes to the spout, you know, inside the bowl. It has that little spout, just like a Kohler Trilon, except the spout in this bowl is a lot smaller compared to, like, a Kohler Trilon. And, uh, you know, they're, they're different, too. Like, if you look in the back there, you see it sticks out like that. Let me see, Let me see if you can see it. Yeah. That little circular hole is the spout and the trilon. Um, this toilet bowl also has the, the siphon jet along with the spout. Um, so that's another reason why I got it. I like siphon jet bowls a little more than I like the ones that don't have siphon jets, but I'll take either one. Um, another reason why I like this toilet bowl is because it doesn't have like a bump out rim like some other ones do. You know, like the rim's just smooth instead of pushing out like on a Compton or a Modernus or something like that. It's just smooth. That's why I like the these Crane Saxon A's and Kohler Trilons and Trents because they don't have that rim that pushes out. You can still see where the rim starts, though, because of that line there when they uh, join the rim and the just bottom part of the bowl together. You still see the line, but it's just more smooth. Uh, I did not get a tank with this bowl, but I had my own crane tank. I think this is older. It says Trenton Pottery's Company, Tepco. Um, it has its original crane handle. Uh, it goes either way, up or down, to flush. I'm, I have no idea what year that is, but it didn't come with a tank lid. When I got it, I got it with my American Standard Baby Devorah toilet. So, you know, um, they packed the tank, the bowl, and they didn't have the original tank lid, so they sent me um, what I believe is an American Standard 4050 tank lid. Uh, I'm not sure if that means it was made in 1966. It says March 7th up here. I don't know. I didn't know that the these tanks were made that late. But, you know, that might also not be the date, but it could be. It probably is. I'm not too familiar with old American standard plumbing. But, hopefully... I will get this bowl hooked up sometime. I'm looking for some high tanks, um, you know, just anything, really. I'm going to try to install it in my bathroom sometime. I'm not sure when, but it'll get done. So for now, I guess this is probably going to be the only video of it before spring. Maybe I can hook it up in my bathtub somehow. I managed to do that with a few others, but that'd be kind of complicated because, you know, this toilet has a back spud, so I probably won't do that. I might, we're going to have some days almost in the 60s pretty soon. I might put it on flushometer. I did that with a couple other bowls. Uh, maybe I might. But I don't know, it just depends if the days are nice. I mean, they're supposed to be in the 50s, but high 50s in some places. So hopefully I'll be able to bring out the flushometer, or I'll hook up the tank. I could take it into the toilet shed. But I don't know, I brought out my flushometer when it was like 36 degrees one day and it wasn't too cold but you know really I just wanted to test out my flushometer setup so I don't know it 
kind of needs to be fixed. My flushometer setup, it kind of leaks a little bit, so it doesn't build as much pressure as it could. So, yeah. You'll see this again sometime.